Hi everyone, today we'll be working on question 364 on LeetCode called Nested List Weight Sum 2. So this is obviously a follow-up on Nested List Weight Sum 1. Uh, this time the deaths are reversed though, so every single time we go down the depth, our depth is going to decrease. And at the top level, so this 2 which is not nested whatsoever, uh, it's going to have the highest depth. So in this example, this 2 over here is a depth of 2. And every nested one has a depth of one. So just for reference, this is going to be our code from nested list with someone. If you have any questions about this, please refer to that question first. The idea is um, every single time we pass an array, we're going to uh, make a recursive call with that array and keep adding in the depths. And every single time we go into a nested array, we add one to the depth. This time, however, since it's reversed, we want to subtract one from the depth every single time we inverse. And we want to start out at the top depth. So how do we do that? We should get the top depth first. So we'll do that using another function. Call get max depth. So function get max depth. Passing our list. Um, let's call our def starting at zero. So the idea behind this is every single time we pass a nested array, our def grows by one. So we're going to do the same ideas here. Every single time we pass by an array, we're going to add one to the def. And at the end of our recursive call, we're just going to return uh, the def plus one. So we say for the element of list. If we pass an array, there is no is list um, method here, so we could just have to use not an integer. So if our element is not an integer, then we want to update our def as the max between itself, as well as the DFS, sorry, um, the recursive call. Of the elements list. That looks good. Cool. Then for the recursive calls return, just return the depth of one because every single time we go down into a nested array, we're adding one to the depth. So by the end of this, the last return will just be the max depth. So let's see if this works. This should be get max stuff. There we go. And works just fine. Cool. So runtime, well, get max def is going to be O of n since we're running through every element inside the list once. Same idea for the DFS function side here, it's still going to be O of n just like before. So O of n plus O of n is O of 2n, which is the same thing. Asymptotically as just O of n. So this is O of n. So n is the total number of integers in our list to list. Cool. So with that, I'll put a link to the question as well as my GitHub down below. And I'll see you guys next time.